Welcome to Draw This. Draw This is a series of videos where I'll randomly generate a word and then draw it for you in real time while describing my process so that you the viewer can follow along. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to randomly generate a word on wordgenerator.net and that word is marble. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so here in Corel Painter X3, I have a 24 by 24 inch canvas. I'm going to make a layer for marble and use the elliptical selection tool while holding Shift and Alt to draw a circle. I'm going to fill that with a muted aqua using the paint bucket. And then I'm going to duplicate that layer and I'm going to call it shadow. And I'm going to fill that in a little bit darker using preserve transparency. And I'm going to transform it, squash it a little bit vertically and then rotate it a little bit. We want the shadow to look like it's pointing away from the light source, which will be top left. And I'm using Soften to blur the shadow overall. And then I'm going to add a mask to that layer. And I'm going to use white in the airbrush to remove some of that shadow. Then I'm going to use Preserve Transparency to darken a little bit using the airbrush as well. And then I'm going to just use the Diffuse Blur Brush to make the blended edges look a little more organic on the shadow and reduce the opacity as needed. Now I'm going to make a selection from the marble layer and I'm going to paint within the marble and add a little stripe of blue glass. We want this to look like glass within glass, so you want it to kind of bulge a little bit. And we will subtract from this layer. We have it set to multiply, so if we paint with white and the airbrush, we will essentially remove some of the darker color. And I'm going to turn on Preserve Transparency and just vary the blue hue a little bit. I'm trying to make this look like it's an actual three-dimensional object. I'm going to sharpen the edges using pinch as needed, and then if I need to soften edges, I will use the diffuse blur to blend. And I'm just going to go back and forth between pinching and blending. Now I'll create a new layer for the red stripe that we're going to put within the marble. And I'll just use the scratch board tool for this. It's going to be in the foreground so it can be a bit sharper than the blue stripe that's behind it, because we want there to be a sense of depth using pinch to smooth out the edge to make it nice and smooth by painting over the edge. And then I'm using Distorto to kind of push the pixels around. We're going to add some 3D shading by turning on Preserve Transparency and using lighter and darker colors to try to make this look like a more three-dimensional shape, kind of like a cone. And because this is glass within glass, we're going to have some of the marble reflected on the red stripe. We'll return to the marble layer and we will paint with a lighter aqua color to start adding some depth to our spherical shape. We want to add contrast by painting along the edges of the stripes because we want them to look like they're embedded in the glass. We want there to be reflections on the edges. So I'm going to add some much lighter aqua kind of white color. And I'm really just building this up. I've studied some pictures of marbles, so I have a good idea of what to do here. And you can do the same. But really, you just want to add contrast by adding lighter and darker colors. You want there to be some inner shadows, you want there to be some outer highlights and streaks and areas that blend together and areas that are sharp. You really just want there to be a lot of variety and it does help to study glass and marbles. Along the bottom edge here there's going to be a very dark area that's surrounded by a very light area with a lot of highlights. So I'm adding the highlights on the marble layer, but I'm also going to create a new layer for the main highlight, which is on a layer called highlight, which is set to screen. I'm just kind of shaving it down with the eraser and then blending it until I get it looking the way I want it to. And then I'm going to use Distorto to push it around and make it look a little more shiny. I'll make a layer for gloss and make a selection from the marble. And on the gloss layer, we will just lighten with the airbrush and then use Distorto to sharpen it and make it look more like glass by pushing the pixels around. We can add some finer highlights on the highlights layer to help this look more like beat up small blown glass. And we can make the highlights glow by using a kind of bigger airbrush with a light touch. We'll add some edge details along the edges just to give it a little more character. And then we'll vary the blue hue on the marble layer to add a little bit more aqua and different shades of blue. This helps it look more like glass. And now we want to add some little bubbles within the glass. So we'll go to Layers, Dynamic Plugins, Liquid Metal, and then begin painting in blobs randomly. Now, they're going to look like metal right now, but we will change it with a composite method of overlay to make it look a little more like bubbles. So the footage is sped up. I'm just kind of putting these in at random, wherever I feel like making them. Then I'm going to set the composite method to overlay. 
and then we'll move that layer above the gloss layer and we'll reduce the opacity so it looks a little more natural. We'll make a selection from the marble and create a new layer for texture. We'll make that a multiply composite method and we'll paint in some texture with the sponge. We'll add a mask and paint with the square chalk brush to subtract from that texture and then reduce the opacity as needed. Now I'm going to return to the marble layer and just kind of take some time to look at it and add a few more details here and there. This really just helps it look a little more natural. I'm going to the gloss layer and I am erasing some of that gloss because it's covering up too many of the dark spots. And then I'm also going to the blue layer and I'm going to add some lighter areas underneath the bubbles that are on top of it. I'm going to do the same thing on the red layer. Basically what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to make the bubbles look like they're filled with the color of the marble itself. And again, I'm going back and subtracting from the gloss a little bit. I'm going to vary the color of the red stripe a little bit so it looks a little more reflective. Now I'm going to merge the marble layers and the stripe layers so that I can sharpen and blend them together without getting any weird effects on the edges of the layers. Sometimes that happens when you have layers separate from each other. I'm going to use the diffuse blur to soften the edges. I'm going to use the pinch to sharpen them again. The reason why I'm going back and forth here is because it's good to have a nice blend and a balance between sharp and smooth. Now I'm going to add some lime green hues because I feel like it kind of complements the color of the glass. This could be a reflection from the environment surrounding it. And then just sharpening and kind of polishing it here and there. I'm going to make a selection from the marble and I'm going to make a gloss two layer and then I'm going to use that to lighten everything with a nice light aqua using the airbrush. I'm going to subtract from that gloss painting with black because the layer was set to screen. I'm going to add an inner shadow layer that's set to multiply and I'm going to do something similar where I'm just adding some dark areas as a layer on top of everything. It's kind of painting in with a darker aqua color here using the scratch board tool and the airbrush and then I'm blending it using diffuse blur. Zooming out really helps because if you look at this too close you're looking at it closer than you would see a marble in real life. I'm going to use the bulge tool here and there to kind of help bulge the center and that helps it look a little more spherical. And then I'm going to subtract from the inner shadow layer because it's a little too dark. I'm going to add a new layer for another glow and I'm going to paint with the glow brush. I'm going to have to kind of hunt for the right color here and the right shadow position to get this to look right. But basically what I want is the light to be shining through the marble onto the shadow and eating away at the shadow. That just kind of gives it a nice effect. I'm going to distort, blend, and sharpen this glow as needed to make it look more natural. Then I'm just going to move everything around until I get it looking the way I want it. I'm going to shave off the edges a little bit using the eraser or you could just paint with black. I'm going to darken the shadow layer a little bit because it needs to be a little bit darker on the left side. I'm going to blend the shadow edge using diffuse blur again. And then I'm going to add a layer for the background. Now the background's going to be pretty simple. I'm just going to use kind of a muted aqua color to just paint it in with the airbrush. I'm going to try to keep everything darker on bottom so there's a sense of realism and perspective. And our light's coming from top left, so I'm adding some white with the airbrush on the top left. Now I'm going to add some darkness around the marble edges using Preserve Transparency and the digital airbrush. I'm painting with the edge of the brush and just adding a nice rim highlight and shading. I'm going to lighten some of the edges near the shadow to make them stand out. I'm really just adding these fine little details. I'm going to lighten some of the bubbles by giving them their own little highlights and things. Then I'm going to make a selection from the marble again and add some more texture. I'm going to play with my paper texture settings and really just get a nice wash of texture over everything and then blend it with kind of a spherical contour using the coarse oily blender and then reduce the opacity so it just looks like glass texture. I'm going to add a layer for background texture and I'm going to use a sponge painting with a larger brush in the foreground and a smaller brush in the background to add a sense of perspective texture. Then I'm going to blend it horizontally using the diffuse blur with light pressure. Reduce the opacity till you get a nice blend and then we're looking pretty good. So now really I just need to add a few more finishing touches and we'll have a finished marble. I'm going to add a little more lime to the shadow because I think that helps it look more interesting. And then I'll return to the marble layer and use the bulge brush to bulge it a little bit more. And then I'm going to just add some more little fine details using that lime color near the edges. These are again reflections or just a variation of color in the glass. It just helps it look more natural. 
And then I'm gonna go along the edge and just add more details, adding and subtracting wherever I need to, really just kind of doing this stuff by eye. But again, I, I've looked at some reference photos, so I have a good idea of what this should look like, and that will help you as well. And a lot of this is just towards the end, you're working from broad to fine, so you really do have to concentrate on these little details. I'm gonna merge the inner shadows and the marble layers together, and then I'm gonna save a copy because I'm going to do a drop all. And because I've dropped all, now I can go ahead and just blend and blur along the edges. I can blur the background as much as I want to. And now I'm going to duplicate using copy and paste. And then I'm going to use focus and soften on the duplicate layer to put it out of focus. I'm gonna add a mask and then paint with the digital airbrush and black in the mask. And what that does is that lets me add focus manually to the marble and helps it look more natural like a photograph. I'm gonna evaluate everything small. Do you drop all the drop all the layers again and then just blend a little bit more? I'm gonna add another texture layer that's set to multiply and use the sponge to just paint in some little dents and divots. Then I'm going to use a mask to subtract. I'm going to subdue those divots using the airbrush and a light color just by painting over them. And then I'm going to blend them a little bit and I'm going to add a light texture layer and paint with the sponge. I'm going to subdue that with a mask as well. And then I'm going to blend it again following that spherical contour. So adding these layers of texture really helps this to look like glass. I'm gonna save another copy and do a drop all and just blend a little bit more as needed on the bubbles so they're not so sharp. Then I'm going to evaluate the value structure by adding a color layer filled with black. If I need to, I can adjust the values with layers, adding multiply layers to darken and screen layers to lighten. So right here I am darkening a little bit where I think I need to add more dark contrast just to help this look a little more visually appealing. Just adding some darker areas where there were darker areas before. And now if I look at it, there's a little more pop to the piece because there's a nice dark black area. And then now I'm just gonna add the finishing touches, blending, adding texture, just doing a little bit of everything to make this come together and look more like a marble. And again, I'm looking at it from far away because I want it to be as small as a marble would be in real life because looking at it up close, it just looks too, too detailed. So you really have to zoom out. I'm gonna add a glow layer and use uh, it set to screen and paint with the airbrush to just kind of make these lighter areas glow a little bit more like they're casting light at the eye. And then I'm going to add a vignette layer because I like to vignette everything. The vignette is set to multiply. I'm just gonna paint along the edges to make it darker. I'm gonna reduce the opacity of that layer to make it a little more subtle. And then I'm going to drop all the layers and I'm going to blend the edges of the cast shadow with the background darkness just to make it more unified. Then I'm gonna blend the marble edge and just within the marble a little bit using diffuse blur. I'm gonna add a tint layer and I'm gonna fill that with aqua. I'm gonna set it to overlay and I'm gonna reduce the opacity to give everything an aqua wash. And then I'm going to drop all again. I'm gonna duplicate the layer again using copy and paste and then I'm gonna use equalize set to a soft light composite method and reduce the opacity until I get a nice contrast that I like. And I think we're getting towards a finished painting, so I'm gonna drop all and save. Look at it small, I think it looks good and it looks like a marble. So here's the finished piece. If you enjoyed this episode of Draw This, you can join me every Tuesday for another new episode. Make sure to click the like button and click the subscribe button so that you can see my new videos as they're released. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next Tuesday.